All right, what's up, boxers? This is Zach Rizet with Build Box. I'm really excited today to go over and show you one of my favorite pieces of software that has come out here with Master Collection 2.0, and that is Voxelbox. After using the software and having a lot of fun with it, I can totally see why kids are really into Minecraft, and I, I, I get it now. I just get it now. So I thought today I'd kind of freestyle it here and just show you some of the things that you can do with it. So um, real fast, I wanted to just build a road uh, real quick, because I wanted to make a little scene. I thought that would be fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn on the edit mode here, and I'm gonna just drag in a voxel, and I'm gonna just drop it in. Okay, it's super, super easy. I'm gonna move the voxel back here to the last back end of the graph, or the back end of the grid. And now I'm gonna go ahead and use the scale tool, and I'm gonna stretch this out, and this is going to be my pavement, okay? This is gonna be the my road, and I'm gonna make sure that I got it all the way to the end of the grid there, looking good, okay, cool. And then I'll use this other scale here, and I will stretch it out and widen it out. And this is all just one, one voxel being stretched out, and it's pretty awesome. So um, now you can see here from the side that it's actually a little bit high. So it's like one voxel up high. And so I was thinking that maybe we could lower that down a little bit. Now there's two ways to do this. You can either use the X, Y, and Z boxes over here on the right side, and I could just lower it down here, or I can manually do it with this tool down here. Now I actually want it at a specific height, so I'm going to put it at 0.25. And then I'm gonna hit enter. And now you can see that it's much lower, okay? And it actually kind of looks like real pavement, honestly. It's um, a lot closer. It's not as thick and as high up. Okay, and so cool. So now I was thinking maybe we could add a yellow dashed line here. So I'm gonna drop in this voxel here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to make a couple dashes. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four. I'm gonna do a space of one, two, three, four. Four, and I'm gonna just keep going. And I'm gonna repeat that one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna do that all the way down until I get to the very end here. So one, two, three, four, and the next voxel. And it is really easy, this, this grid tool here, where you can see where the next voxel is gonna be is super helpful. So um, yeah, that's probably one of the most useful tools of this software. So you can really see where your next voxel is gonna be, and so you can get everything real precise, which is really nice. Okay, cool. You know what, I think that that is pretty good. Um, yeah, you know, that's good enough space right there at the end. So cool, we've got the road here. I think it's a little bit off center, so why don't I use this move tool here and center it a little bit. Yeah, I'll go ahead and select this one. I was centering the road there. And I'll center it right about there. I think that's about right. And then I'm gonna use this scale tool. I'm gonna rotate around a little bit. I'm gonna bring this one down as well. So um, the road is at 0.25, so maybe we'll do it at 0.30. I'm gonna hit enter. And so then you can see it's just sticking out just a little bit, really just enough so that you can see it. And another thing that would be kind of fun is to add some white lines here on the side. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and press edit here, and I'm gonna click my white voxel, and I'll go ahead and add it here to this side. Okay, cool. And let's see here. So I think this voxel, let me double check on it real quick. Oh, so this voxel is part of the other voxel. Okay, easy. So this is a super easy fix. So I accidentally threw it in with the other voxel. So it's super easy. You just click the edit button. I hit shift on my keyboard and I tap it and it's gone. So now I'm ready to add another complete, uh, different voxel completely. So I'm gonna add in this white one right here. And you can see here that the other voxel was added to it as opposed to just joining the other one. The, the reason why I had the other one, um, why I joined the other one is because I had the other one selected. So it went in that grouping. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put one on this side. And I think that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that one there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select that little guy and I'm gonna stretch it out. And this is going to be my white line, my guideline here on the sides. So I'm gonna stretch it back this way and then I'm gonna hit the scale tool and stretch it out. Okay, cool. So make sure I got it as close as I can to the very end. Oh, I went a little too far there. Okay, perfect, that looks about right. And now I'm gonna scale it down 
to probably the same as uh, same as the other one. Might as well be exact about it too. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 0 0.30 here. I'm gonna hit enter, click out of it, and that's perfect. Oh gosh, that looks great. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in one more voxel to the other side. Go ahead and put it right there. Then I'll stretch that one out as well. First I'll situate it. So it's back here towards the edge and I got a little bit more space off the right. I'll use that scale tool and just stretch it nice and easy down a ways. And that looks great. Okay, cool. So we've got a, uh, we've got a good looking road here. So now I just need to uh, bring it down a little bit because it's a little bit high and you can see it's creating a little bit of a shadow there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do 0.25 or no, 0.3 is where I had it at before. Okay, I'll hit enter. And I'll tap this right here, and you can see the shadow's gone. And it's looking good. This is like a this is a really good looking road. So I just want to show you this real quick, how easily you can make an asset in something like this, a road scene. And you know what? I'm going to uh, I'm going to cut to a different scene here. I'm going to use this road scene and make a much larger scene right now, and kind of dress it up a little bit. So uh, give me a second on that. Okay. So you can see here, I made a big old scene here with a bunch of grass and stuff like that. And it's really cool. And you'll notice that the road is a little bit different too. And that's because I took my road and I stretched it out and I elongated it instead of creating a bunch of little pieces and stuff like that. So there's lots of things that once you've got a little piece of your road, you can stretch it out and make that road a little bit longer. So you can see that these yellow dashed lines are a little bit elongated. And so this is the other cool thing. So I made this little truck in really hardly any time at all. And you can go ahead and make really cool things with this with this scene. So you can just grab assets and you can move them around and rotate them around and it's really, really awesome. So let me go ahead and spin this little bunny around because he's kind of uh, given the uh, given the truck the wrong end of the business there. So we got this little bunny and you know what? That bunny looks a little bit big. So I'm gonna shrink down the bunny. Oh, you know what, that's in the Y axis. So here's something that's cool. So you see this little yellow button here? If you click the center of it, you're able to scale the whole thing. And I'm gonna wait till the mouse is on it. And then now see I'm able to shrink it down and also, I'm also able to do super ginormous bunny. And it's supposed to, it can get massive, huge. You can do like Godzilla bunny if you like. Um, but I'm gonna do a little tiny bunny just about there and kind of gonna create a little scene. So let's see here, let's go ahead and drop in some trees would be fun, I think. Let's go ahead and move that guy around. Oops, I selected the truck. Cool, I'm gonna move a tree around. Probably gonna increase the size a little bit. So move that around. We'll do a little bit of a increase in scale. Nice, I like that. It's a little close to the road, that's kind of dangerous. I wouldn't want cars hitting my trees. Um, okay, great, and you know what? I think I moved it up a little bit too, so I can plant it firmly into the ground, and you can see it sinking down into the earth. So you can make that, uh, if, even if I wanted to like, scale it up and stretch it out a little bit, something like that, you know? I can easily just plant it back down into the earth and I can sink it down and make a pyramid and it can go all the way underneath. And so you've got this complete 3D design here going on and it's really awesome. So now let's go ahead and add in, why not add a little bird into that tree? That would be kind of fun. I'll be honest with you, I'm just completely messing around here and freestyling so there's, uh, there's no rhyme or reason to this at all. Okay, you know what, I think I've got a couple birds under my truck. Yeah, that's what happened. And I was uh, looking for them, I was like, hey, where's those birds? So there's the birds right there. I actually created two of them. So why don't I, I'll go ahead and roll with them. Let's go ahead and put these two birds up there. So I'm gonna shift this bird up here, maybe, uh, and let me go ahead and slide this back and right here. And I'm probably gonna make it a little bit smaller, make this bird a little bit tinier. So let's go ahead and make a little tiny bird. And I'm gonna shrunk it down into the tree there. All right, let's go ahead and spin this bird around and maybe move him out a little bit right now because he seems a little bit off. He's hanging out, he's a little awkward. So I'm gonna rotate him around a little bit. And these are all like really great tools. Nick did an amazing job programming this and so did the rest of the development team. Everybody who was part of this did an amazing job. This is so, so much fun. 
Um, okay, cool. So he's just sitting up there on the on the little on the tree, kind of just chilling out a little bit. So that's cool. You can make him smaller or bigger or whatever. And let's go ahead and take that uh, other bird here. Let's uh, let's rotate him and move him over there as well. So I'm gonna lift him up and spin him this way. Maybe take him that way. We'll s rotate him around. Okay, cool. He's inside the tree <laughs> at this point. Okay, and I'm gonna zoom in here now so you can see it a little bit better. And let's go ahead and rotate them him around a little bit more so it's a little bit even. Okay, cool. And then now I'll go ahead and move him over. Maybe one will be like the <laughs> the parent bird, and the other one will be the uh, the the child. But I still think that's a little bit too big. And uh, that's what happens a lot of times with my voxels, at least, is I go a little bit too larger, a little bit larger than I should. And so um, that's my fault right there. Okay, let's select it, and I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit. Yeah, I think that's I think that's better. Maybe we can make them about the same size. The other one seems to fit up there pretty nicely. So I'm going to change my mind. I just changed my mind. They're now brother and sister. No longer uh no longer father or uh parent and child. They're moving up. Okay. Cool. Cool. So we can see him perch just like that. So we got a couple birds. This guy needs to move down a little bit here. I can see now where I missed messed up. Let's put them right on top of the tree. So yeah, they're kind of like right there on the edge. It's almost like a branch or whatever. So that looks pretty good. Nice. We got our scene here. So we got a little bunny. We got some trees. Let's add in another. Let's add in a cactus just randomly out here. I think that would be fun. So that's an easy one. We'll just slide it out over here. Maybe uh, maybe rotate it a little bit. Just kind of so you can see it a little bit better. Um, another thing that might be fun is uh, let's throw another uh, let's throw another bird in there, just like walking around, chilling out. So I will rotate him like this and move him out like that, and maybe rotate him around a little bit more like that. That's cool. And we still got this flo floating car, kind of like the last scene of Greece or something like that. Um, so okay, let's. Uh, Let's go ahead. Oh, I really like this little doggy too. So I'm going to toss in this dog. He's really big. <laughs> I had to use a lot of voxels here to make him. So let's move him out here too. It'll be like Animal Farm. Okay. And let's rotate him around to the side there. Very good. And let's move him around a little bit like this. Okay, cool. And then the last thing we need to do is that is a big, that's a big dog. So we're going to scale him down a little bit. So let's see here. I'm going to hit my little yellow cube right here and make him ginormous. No, I'm not. I'm going to make him small. Okay, let's make a little tiny dog. I could probably do the same thing with this bird, honestly. I should probably make him a little bit smaller too. It's a pretty big bird. It's bigger than the rabbit. Okay, so we got these little tiny animals. The dog's pretty cute. Um, we got this big work truck, and you can make the truck bigger and smaller too. All of these images are resizable and stuff, so it's no big deal. I'm gonna throw in another couple trees just for funsies here. This is a good one. Um, I'm gonna make this one bigger for sure. I like that one. And move it out here as well. Maybe move it a little bit more to the side. Come out. Let's make sure that it's planted in the ground okay cool so we got a couple different types of trees that looks good and let's see here we've got another rabbit that one's cool too I'm gonna see he's more of a jackrabbit I'm gonna send him back this way and I'm gonna probably make him a little bit smaller too let's do that Okay, super easy. Just grab that yellow cube, shrink them down just a little bit. That one's got more of a better side profile than anything. And let's go ahead and toss in a little turtle too. That's always fun. I like this little turtle. Okay, the turtle's big too. And you know what? It might end up being so that you end up making your original voxels, your original assets a little bit bigger. 
and then you just resize them for your scenes or whenever you can always make them bigger and smaller it's, that's like that's no big deal so and that might be end up end up being where you uh, what you decide to do with it so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna put this turtle way back here near the cactus because that's kind of more of a turtle thing you know, like a de desert tortoise or something like that and I might make a couple extra cactus I think it would be kind of fun so let's go ahead and move a couple extra cactus back here super easy toss in one more move that one over there rotate that one around a little bit just like that maybe something like that okay cool so we got like a little desert scene going on over there which makes sense with the rabbits and stuff like that and then uh, why don't we go ahead and uh, just complete let's add in like one more two more trees here so I'm gonna, I really like these trees a lot um, so I'm going to resize this guy and let's move them out to make them a little bigger than that come on Zach and uh, let's go ahead and move him out of here too so move him back behind these two trees cool okay and you know the last thing I think would be kind of fun so let's take this guy plant him back down a real easy way a real quick way to move him down to the ground too is you can just change the y scale to zero and then uh, oops actually I meant the that's the scale oops I my bad um, I meant the position oops okay let's put the position at zero um, and then hit enter and then boom right there on the ground okay you can also just go like this up and down like that but if you want it to be like exact and you want it to just hit perfectly on the ground then probably the best way to do it is to just change the Y position to zero and then you're good um, and so I think the last thing that would be kind of fun I'm gonna move him back this truck a little bit like that and uh, let's put a giant t-rex standing in the way I think that would be kind of fun um, this guy's pretty cool he kind of looks like Barney um, I don't know if any of you I don't think Barney's still around anymore but in, in the in my day Barney was a pretty big deal um, so this is a giant dinosaur I want to make him real big and let's do that big old Barney dinosaur like something out of uh, Jurassic Park or something like that I like it and you'll also notice that we've got some uh, shadows going on here and that is uh, super easy you can just take your Sun here and you can move your Sun around and so you can totally change the shadows around in your scene super super easy if you want so um, all of that is all up to you um, you can move the shadows wherever you like but uh, yeah we've got a cool little scene here we've got a uh, we've got a truck driving with some animals and we've got a ginormous dinosaur standing in the way okay so we've got our little scene here and I think this is pretty cool but you know what it's missing is it's missing a sky I don't like looking out in here into the black emptiness here so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna drop in a sky here I'm gonna drop in one of the sky voxels that I want to use and I am well I keep rotating the gosh darn wrong way um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit this guy out a little bit and raise him up and stretch him out and we're gonna keep doing that and over and over again until we get it nice and big and let's go ahead and move it out here a little bit oh that looks great already I can tell something something's working there oops I don't want to move it anymore what I want to do now is I want to stretch it out and keep stretching it out so that looks good there that looks good there um, I could probably just stretch it out a little bit even further if I want to because the the whole deal is um, it, they can meet uh, at a corner and it will be fine so I'm gonna go ahead and stretch this out pretty far just like that you can do it exact if you like and then what I'll do is I'll drop in one more voxel here zoom in and let's go ahead and change that one around too so I'm gonna stretch that up stretch that out and you know what actually um, instead of stretching it out like this I'll go ahead I'll keep that scale at one I'll hit enter again and what I'll do is I'll stretch it this way yeah this is much better this makes way more sense so I'll stretch it this way and then let's move it out like this okay cool 
and I need to situate it a little bit get a better camera angle at it okay cool 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 now let's go ahead that's pretty much right there at the edge now let's go ahead and just stretch it out all the way and finish stretching it out and you know what I probably could move it uh, down like this and stretch it out some more so that I get a little bit more of the corner and you can do you can take this the whole gosh darn way if you like so um, yeah and I could do that with this one like this one's looking a little low now so I can just raise these up on high real easy real easy and so now we've got a little bit of a better scene here you wouldn't you agree you know what uh, let's go ahead and stretch that all the way out too I'm gonna go ahead and move this like that perfect okay now we're now we're cooking with fire okay so now we've got this cool little scene here where uh, we've got uh, we've got a blue sky we can also add some uh, we can easily add some clouds and stuff like that you know what uh, before we I finish this off um, you know because I just wanted to give you a kind of a quick peek at it let's go ahead and do some clouds let's add some clouds to the scene so I'm gonna go ahead and actually move him up a little bit get him a little bit more in this truck's face this is this is a ten, this is a tenuous situation right there between that T-Rex and that green service truck um, but let's go ahead and make a quick uh, cloud and then I'll, I'll end it there so let's go ahead and I'll grab a grab a white voxel I'll drop it in oops I didn't drag it and drop it I just clicked it and let's select it and then you know what I'm gonna do I think I might make like a little cloud just like this in the ground you know and then uh, just resituate it and rotate it around so that it's perfect so the nice part about this is you can just do this right here on the ground and oops I think I uh, went underneath yes I did my bad sometimes that happens if you're not careful if you're clicking in the wrong place um, and getting sloppy getting sloppy Joe here okay well, that looks good yeah that's a good looking cloud okay um, yeah that is not the greatest cloud but it, you know what clouds aren't perfect so okay that looks good to me so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move that guy right here I'll move him up like this just like that and I'll move him up and the best part about this just rotate it what perfect so you can rotate your cloud around like so and make it you can make it so that the Sun hits it just the right way if you like and move it up perfect so we can do uh, little clouds in the sky and you can have them hanging suspended in the air or whatever you like it's pretty pretty awesome you know I'm gonna move this truck up just a little bit a little just a little bit higher okay great and you know what I might do too I might uh, I might do one more sky over here on the side just to finish it off just to finish off the scene so I can go ahead and grab that take it just like this and let's stretch it out a little bit stretch it this way stretch it that way nice and high nice and out and then boom cool let's move it all the way out just like that and then stretch it up and I probably could stretch it out like this too cool okay so now we've got like a total scene here we've got little clouds a little cloud in the air and uh, we can make a whole bunch of other clouds and stuff it would be really really cool and make a scene but I think uh, I think you're getting it right now I think the um, the clouds are a little bit unnecessary we can even make it real big we can make big clouds and stuff like that too um, and move them around but uh, but yeah so this is cool so we got a cool little scene here and that took hardly any time at all and you can always just drag in more assets if you like I could drag in a table uh, we've got tables available chairs and a bunch of potted plants and things like that if I want to drop in a potted flower it's super easy just select it and then move it over here we can have them hanging out next to the bird little potted plant over there you can hardly see it from here but yeah 
move it down this way you can see it a little bit better and yeah so it's cool you can even have if you wanted this road lined to the t's right here just all a whole bunch of uh, flowers and potted plants and stuff like that you could do that super easy you could just plant flowers like this super easy I could drag them in drop them move them this way and like that and do like a whole cool little scene and you could really build this out and uh, do whatever you like with it. You can rotate these images around, have them pointing wherever you like, and really kind of dress it up, and it's really cool. So I definitely would take a look at that and check, and check it out and uh, mess around with these uh, assets and all the different things, all the different tools and stuff. Um, so yeah, so that was a quick look at Voxelbox. I hope you enjoyed it and you thought it was cool. Uh, thank you so much, everybody. Have fun with it.